Good evening. It's Sunday night. It's uh, nearly half past eight. Nearly bedtime. Got early morning tomorrow. And I just thought I'd make a quick video whilst the wifey's taking her makeup off and feeling a little bit sorry for herself. Yeah, we went out last night on a triple date for one of my uh, best mate's birthdays, Stefo. He uh, turned 33 years old. And um, yeah, we had an absolute fantastic night. The place in Manchester is at the called uh, Mackie Mayer. Atmosphere, mental. People, thousands crammed into this building. Food, immaculate, it was amazing. Literally, you just find a table, sit there, order your food on your phone. Bob's your uncle, Fanny Durant, and it's there. And uh, Leanne had a fair few different wines. And feeling a bit sorry for myself today. But hey, it was a cracking night. Right, what I actually want to talk about is uh, the last video. So I got a couple of comments in the last video that I'd like to address. Mainly one um, where I, apparently I should hang my head in shame. Uh, so let me just take you back to the start. So the job came on, well, I, I had a job that I was covering from Manchester to Cornwall. I was meant to be doing it myself. The weight was a bit too much for Luton, so I decided to sub it out on the CX. Something I didn't want to do, because I wanted to do it myself, but hey, yeah, something you have to do occasionally. And I subbed it out for 88p a mile, for an extra long wheelbase. Um, now, that was their bid. That's what they put in. It wasn't the cheapest bid. The cheapest bid was around 65 pence a mile. The most expensive was in the £1 summits. I can't really remember. But they were the only people that bid that had full positive feedback everyone else had something negative something not showing up on time something like that and they were actually a company that i followed on instagram for a few years and they're a big company they're not a small it's not a one-man band it's not one person in a band it's a big company so i booked them i found them booked them they did the job perfect job got their first thing delivered no hassle top-notch lads and the comment also says, why didn't I phone him and offer him more money? And now, as you know, I've said it in videos before, I've done that before. I've phoned people from, uh, I think it was a job from Tunbridge Wells into central London. I got covered, like they caught it on maybe for like 40p a mile or something. And I phoned him and I was like, why? And they explained it because they'd like to get into London and blah, blah, blah. But I offered them a little bit more money and they took it. And I've done it a couple of times, but I'm not doing it anymore. So the reasoning behind that is because I run a company and my aim is to make profit. And to make profit, I can't be overly generous. Now, yes, um, I do normally say I take 10% off the job. So for instance, it's a hundred pound job. For me, I'll pay the driver 90, I get a tenner. It's not very much money, is it? And oh, but the aim of it is that I've got that many jobs going that then I make a bit of money. But if somebody wants to go cheaper, that's their prerogative. And yes, it'll make me more profit, which I'm very happy about because it makes me and helps me grow the business. Because mm -hmm. then more money in my back pocket means a potential new van, potentially getting an old driver on the road, which is what I'm aiming for in the future. So, yeah, I understand where you're coming from. I've done it before. Why am I not doing it now? I'm not doing it now because I've run a business. I've, I ran a business back then as well, but I was a bit naive uh, when I started doing that. Um, and, yeah, I just, I'm not going to go out of my way. I don't mean any offence to anybody. I'm not, I don't want to go out of my way to offer people more money than they're bidding. The Courier Exchange is a bidding platform at the end of the day. People use it to get to places they want to be, to get home, to do, just do work. At the end of the day, it's up to people what they bid. It's not up to me to start telling them what they should be quoting. It's like, quote what you want to quote. It's something I've always said. If it's a good job for you, go a bit cheaper. If it's a bad job for you, and you don't really want to do it, but it'll make you money. Go a bit higher and see if you get it. That's your prerogative. I'm not here to say what you should be earning. At the end of the day, 
for me personally, I think the courier exchange is an oversaturated market. So if people want to bid really, really cheap, like we all saw that Facebook post a few weeks ago from that has has, if people want to bid really, really cheap and do stupid things like that, then they're not going to last very long. But people not lasting very long on the CX isn't a bad thing for us people, for me, for you, that want to make a career out of this and want to build our businesses or want to earn decent money because as soon as they're gone we can make some money now I'm not trying to say um, that you're wrong but I disagree with your comments and that's why because I run a business and I'm trying to make profit and a hundred percent will not be hanging my head in any sort of shame I literally tell you what's going on in my business, what's going on my day to day for you to watch. It might help you some days, it might motivate you some days, and other days you might get annoyed at me. But that's just unfortunately how it goes. So I hope you've all had a cracking weekend like I have. I hope next tomorrow, Monday, is a cracking day for you and you all have a great week and just uh, keep earning money. So I'll catch you on the next video. Bye-bye.